On Tuesday, Israel's top general turned up the volume, saying he was preparing new attack plans targeting Iran. Well, tension is building between Iran and Israel. But did you know, when you look in the Bible, Iran and Israel used to be friends. When you look at Cyrus the king, he not only set the captives free, he gave them money to go back and build the temple. Today, Iranian government, the Islamic Iranian government is against Israel and wants to wipe Israel off the map. They set up these rallies of death to Israel, death to America. But you know, God is also working. He is changing the hearts of Iranians, even Muslims, towards Israel. There is such a disconnect between the people and the government of Iran that when Iranian government says death to Israel, the common people think, wow, if they're saying death to Israel, they must be good people. And then they say, what has Israel done to us? They have not done anything to us. You are the ones, you, the government, you have ruined our lives. We should not hate them, we should hate you. Yes, God is changing the hearts of Iranians toward Israel. Now at Iran Alive, our ministry is to share the gospel with Iranians. And when they come to Christ, they start praying for Israel and they start serving the Jews. Let me share a story with you. I was in an airplane going to Europe to speak at a conference, and by my side, there was a Jew. We started talking, and I asked him what he's doing, and he shared what he was doing. Then he asked me, what do you do? And this is what I answered him. I said, my job is to turn your enemies into your friends. He was shocked. He said, what, what are you talking about? Then I had a time to share my testimony and tell them that Iran Alive, that's exactly what we are doing. Now, I want to encourage you and invite you. Would you pray for Iran Alive? And would you join us, stand with us, so we can share the gospel with Iranian people, so we can turn their hearts towards Israel and the Jews? My friends, you want to help Israel? Then help Iran. Help us transform the hearts of suicide bombers filled with hatred into peacemakers. Would you join us with your prayer and your support? Together, we can transform the enemies of Israel into its friends. I look forward to hearing from you. God bless you.